before I get into the presentation, just a quick uh, thing. It's funny you mentioned my kids, but I went to see, I'm, I'm a big movie fan, went to see a sci-fi movie, probably didn't go and see it because George Clooney in it and everything. And, and in there, there's a, there's a, there's a young lady who, who, who there's, a, there's a proper Rocky montage of, of her being told that the world's going to end. And she keeps sticking her hand up and going, but what do we do? But what do we do? I, 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 I want to know what to do. I don't want to know the world's ending. I want to know what we do about it. And when we came out of the movie, my kids was like, well, you talk about that all the time, Dad. What, what, what's the answer? And so uh, I'm going to do exactly the opposite of what somebody said. Oh, that was a great thing that you didn't specifically pick on one thing that could save the world. I'm going to do exactly, I'm going to pick on one thing that, that's going to, going to save us. Uh, and, 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 and this thing is, is, is a very, because I'm an educator, I'm going to have to go through the houses before I get to it. I don't, I'm not going to kill you with a thousand tips. I'm going to focus on, on the issue and you're going to go away and save the world because this is the right thing to do. So my name's John Grant, so senior lecturer here. Um, I, I look at sustainable construction, new build and retrofit. Uh, and, and, and the issue is that there are millions, tens of millions of houses that need to be improved upon if we're going to get through the challenges that are going to face us over the next 20, 30 years. Uh, but please don't, don't, don't kill me. First of all, it's really not going to have any effect at all because this is the image that I have of me. I am low carbon man. There is nothing you can do to me. I'm going to change the world. Unfortunately, most of the people I know think of me as chicken little. I just constantly, you just count the seconds before I, I say, we're all going to die. You know, this is it, we're all done. Which is a truism. The reality is that humanity is moving across the face of this planet like a human tsunami. This is a real picture. This is not faked. This is Mexico City. And the effects of the way we're living is causing a great deal of pollution. Some of it's pretty obvious, some of it isn't. It's invisible, but it is causing some changes. Some changes that could end up being catastrophic. Now we're getting the tail end of this at the moment uh, with, with some serious uh, storms and, and digging ditches. Is that really the solution? But we seem to be complacent and think that because we're really wealthy, we'll be fine. Play last man standing, but we are really wealthy. We do have a huge amount of power. We can change the world. We can, we can do this. But before we do that, we have to understand the nature of the problem. Now, it turns out that all of us individually use, in the UK, about 125 kilowatt hours every day of energy. And it breaks down into transport, our houses, and heating our houses. What does that mean? Well, in the universal standard of chocolate bars, that amount of energy is about 470 chocolate bars worth of energy a day. A day, which is 24 kilograms of chocolate. Now, can we reduce that amount of energy? Well, 30 years ago, we built this, the first autonomous house. A few years later, we built this and this. Not a penny spent on heating since it was built for the same amount of money as it cost to build a standard house. The big houses, the Barrett, have, have come up with a, a, a solution to volume building, and this is their solution. We can do it. We can build houses that don't need energy to heat. And in our homes, we've got a whole load of kit, vampires as I like to call them, that suck up our energy between 10 and 30%. We need to switch those off. You need to lose some basic research how to reduce, improve the efficiency of your homes. And then we need to get onto the hard stuff. This is a 1950s council house, 75 grand's worth of retrofit, 84% worth of energy savings. We could do it cheaper than that if we volume build it, because it ain't complicated, just cladding something. So if we take all of these things, kill the vampires, insulate our houses, um, choose where we go on holiday, do things right, improve the efficiency of our homes. We can drop our energy consumption to a third of what it is. And then what can we do? Well, there's this enormous fusion generator in the sky. And globally, there is a huge amount of energy we can pull on. And this is the amount of the Sahara Desert that we need to cover to power the world. It is new tech, which has been around for more than 100 years. This is a solution that we just need to reach out and grab. North Africa isn't that far away. Um, if we put ourselves into it, 
sort of a Manhattan Project, Apollo Project, a Manpolo if you like, we can actually sort this. So, thank you very much. John.